And welcome back. Today is uh, the third, the day for the third episode of the Revolution Ashes in Russia. And uh, with me today are, hey, this is Malik, this is Jens Bidomi. Say hey. Hello. And uh, just in time, there's uh, first Ilko from Phoenix Ashes. And there's Harry. Say hello, Harry. Hello, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Always following the rules. And then there's Ninke, and uh, they're just getting set up. Not that much. Hello, Ninke, can you hear us? We can't hey! see you. Hey, there she is. In ear monitoring, it's the same for musicians every time. <laughs> Hello. 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 Okay, so everybody muted their uh, Instagram. Hello. Hello. Wow. We didn't. How do you do Hello. that? Yeah, I told Hello. you the URL thing. There's a little loudspeaker that you click. Yeah, I can't see it. Man. In oh, wow. Safari, I don't know what you're using. Safari. That's the funny thing. I'm just <laughs> going to refresh that little button there. And okay, I guess if I click that. So, who is? Aerie is online. And uh, Grüße von Meyer. Aha, Herr Eichhorn. Olja is back. Hello to Russia. <laughs> and Arian, of course. Steffen, Dennis. Hey. Ah, this is going to be fun. Schwacken <laughs> Rami. <laughs> okay, so did you find the mute button? <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I cannot find it. But Honestly? I'm going to send it to I you. I swear to God, I don't know what I'm doing. So we rehearsed this for half an hour, but I mean, come on. Yeah, we did. Okay, yeah, I sent you a bad. little picture in Skype, <laughs> and then you can oh, see. There. Oh, there. Oh, my goodness. Damn, yeah. <laughs> it's difficult. My, I mean, oh, man. He's yeah. a drummer in the end. Be schneller. Schneller. You do it. Schneller. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so. You have to go to the way to the um, so, uh, did you guys watch episode one and two? What do you think? It was great. I thought it was brilliant. You thought it was brilliant. Hey, Corey, I need. It's us, so of course. I mean. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what is with Ninka? Ninka has uh, issues. You're sitting beside uh, her. She needs. To well, I mean, like she, we're right sitting right next yeah. to each other, but because we've got in ears in, we can't hear each other talk. That's oh, yeah. it. So maybe <laughs> only but put one. Yeah, but then it's an hour. <laughs> well, that'll do. Sorry. Hi. Hi. Hey, hi. Hey. 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 So, hey. still looking okay. for that mute button. We don't have that mute button that you have. Tja, that's white privilege. So sorry. Not even my racist comments? Come on. Nothing works with you. What's going on there? I don't care. <laughs> I, I think they use a Chrome browser and there you don't no, have dude, no, no, no. We, uh, no, we no. have Safari. We're using Safari. Um, but there's no button like you showed us. Nine. Maybe it's a very old okay. Safari. Nine. No, it's a, it's, a, it's a new laptop, man. <sighs> I don't know what you guys are doing. I don't know either. Uh, what but if it's I... so here, Mutistan. Yeah. Oh, Ilko wait, what does that button do? <laughs> <Ilko Fayad>. oh. <laughs> hey, Ferdi. Yeah, Ferdi is there. How is Ferdi doing? Um, because uh, I said he had a little operation, and I think uh, he still said, okay, I'm going to watch the show. I'm not going to be on the show, maybe next week. So he's more like, uh, okay, uh, gute Besserung, Ferdi. Is he at home, by the way? Of, uh, yeah, he's at home, I guess. Ah, cool. Ferdi, you can write <laughs> yourself. Um, do it long, yeah. That's uh, yep. So let's start. Yeah. Just talk, man's cool. <laughs> Forget <laughs> it. I can't figure it out. You can't even. Maybe you have to make the window wider or something. It's all the way oh, big is now, isn't that's it? it? Oh. <laughs> this that's is actually funny. What I had. It is for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, this is professional stuff, of course, you know. Maybe take from... You You must know that live happen. Yeah, that's... That is it. This is Dutch. They are speaking Dutch. That's because they are Dutch. 
Yeah. Sorry. We don't have that Knopje button. <laughs> Tja. We have the Knopje nicht. That's what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. But literally, like, check your app, man. We took a picture. Oh, there's another picture. There's just a button for me. Yes, yeah, exactly we... that, what you've sent. We don't see it. So, all. anybody out there, can you, yeah, Technik die begeistert, uh, can anybody <laughs> tell them what to do? Like, Ilko, you have you used that stuff in Dutch. <laughs> I have no idea. I, I would just start and. Yeah. yeah, just close the browser, then you can't see what we are talking, but you have Skype running, so it's fine, yep. I think. Yeah, no, then go. they can't see the episode. They can't ah, see anything. True. True. Can you try Chrome? <laughs> where, we, where we will see it on the, on the iPhone. Yeah, that's yeah. way better. Yeah, but Just then you can watch it on the iPhone. It. Yeah, yeah, but then we'll they have no that. audio. Headphones. Yeah, but they have. Can you replug your in ears to the iPhone? Yeah, but if they watch it, dude, if they watch it on the iPhone, they have, they can just watch it on Instagram, man. Yeah, but we don't want the echoes of that. Yeah, we will watch it on the iPhone with we've other. Got more, we've got more headphones. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. That's it. Awesome yeah. source. Let's do that and let's start. Okay, yeah. go, 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 go. Everything. But that isn't, everything. this is the show. There's not much, uh, so much more to start. I would ah. be, I would like to know. Um, what you guys remember from uh, maybe the first two episodes is like uh, you remember there were the old houses and the old uh, Ilko was uh, speaking about the um, the worn down hostel you know everything from mm -hmm. the outside uh, was like ooh okay and then there was this experience with getting to the first show and there was no one I mean chicken yeah. there was chicken yeah there was chicken there was chicken, chicken. and vodka. <laughs> And, uh, I like that. It was chicken and vodka. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I there like was even vodka with with different flavors. Really? Yeah, the red yeah. one. Yes. Because and I've... there was music. And yep. there was music. Yeah. Yeah. So, did you enjoy it? Like, how was Ninka? How was it for you? Like, uh, you expected something of coming to Russia, and um, we also saw that it was kind of hard for you to get through uh, customs first. And Arnold yeah. said he was quite pissed because that was like, that felt so unwelcomingly racist. And uh, how was that for you? Like getting into Russia and then the experience of the first days? Um, well, I'm kind of used to, well, a every time at, uh, uh, at customs, they pick me out. I don't know why. Maybe I look like some kind of criminal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yes, you do. But yes. <laughs> yeah, of course I didn't like it. But in the end, it yeah, it was nice to see you guys all waiting. And yeah, it doesn't matter if you're uh, um, making problems or uh, getting nervous. Yeah, it doesn't make it better. So. Yeah, it was all right when <laughs> we finally got through after 30 minutes or something so. Something silly like that. I think we had to wait half an hour, didn't we, or something? Yeah, it was like a while. Minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's half an hour or something stupid, yeah. 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 And then getting on the bus with Yevgeny. <laughs> Eugene! <Yeah>. Eugene. <laughs> Eugene. <laughs> it was funny that we didn't even know if he really was our guy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he could be our murderer. But yeah, we, yeah. Didn't know. <laughs> we still it's don't like, know if he was the guy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so, not really certain yet. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought when we went into the bus that, yeah, at least one person was sure, but I think nobody was sure. Yeah, so, no, nobody was. I don't no. know who it was, but once one person said, "Yeah, that's our bus. Let's go in there." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think that's after. After this, after you know Eugene came up to us like for the second time, said, "Come on, you gotta go with me." Yeah. You know, he was the most yeah. convinced. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. was the one. Yeah, he yeah. was very convinced. Yeah, yeah. massively. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, and then we um, were warned, weren't we, beforehand though? Just to be, you know, just to be honest, we were warned beforehand. It's not like in the Netherlands. Or, or like here, should we say, is like if you walk past somebody on the street, you just look at them and you say, "Hey," you know, or you just smile very nicely. Mm -hmm. 
in Russia, you, you don't look at people, <laughs> you know, because it's just like, that's what we warned beforehand. And this guy came up to us, he was just like, get in the bus. I'm like, no. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, uh, actually, nope. <laughs> it's not going to happen, you know. <laughs> but then when he came back, we were like, nah, maybe it's our guy. Yeah. yeah. He was. And he was, thank God for that, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was really cool. Actually, I really liked Jeff Genie. Jeff Genie. Jeff Genie. What was his name? Jeff Genie. Jeff Genie. Jeff Genie. Ilko, what was your impression yeah. of uh, Jeff Genie? Yeah, well, he he was lovely. He was kind of like one of those types where you could imagine him being a a whacked off serial killer, right? He was nicely dressed. He was unsurprisingly or uh, surprisingly sober, and uh, <laughs> we think, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we think. And if he wasn't, then he was very good at hiding it. <laughs> but um, I mean, the whole bus thing, right? It was it, the, that bus that we toured in was actually more of a party bus, right? It had a disco ball in it, it right? And stereo, oh, stereo yeah. system, right? So it yeah. was actually supposed to be like this bachelor party bus. <laughs> and then uh, he'd drive around drunk people uh, at their bachelor party, and that is what he usually did. And now he was driving us around <laughs> for like two weeks in in this ultimate party van with no suspension. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> wooden seats. Wooden seats. Or wooden yeah, yeah. seats. <laughs> no yeah, joke. Because, oh, oh, man. Yeah. They were really, really hard. That was... Uh, Hard on me. You know, and, and you guys, yeah, you know, literally, uh, you guys were the lucky ones. Ninke and I, not just because, but seriously, Ninke and I seats. were the really unlucky ones because we didn't. We like everyone has like, say we say, that much room for their legs, and we had that much room because there was this huge like metal thing right in front of us. So we were sitting there like all that all the time, every, and of course we had to sit at the front because Ninky gets car sick, you know, but Ooh, we're just sitting God. there all like that all the time. It's crazy. So it was like wooden seats and that sort of thing stuck up against your knees for like 10 hours in one go. It was terrible. Yeah. That's the point. Like Works. we always went for how many, seven hours, 10 hours. It was really, yeah. really long. And the streets in Russia are really rough. Eri uh, <laughs> will know. It's like a lot of potholes. And even remember, we were on a street and he really literally had to go like 20 kilometers per hour or something yeah. to just go around potholes all yeah. the time. And we were like, wow, that's a, we would call it in German Landstraße. Landstraße. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it's not, not an Autobahn, but it's like, you know, motorway, what is that in English? You know, it's like the in-between thing. You can go... The, like the highway, the freeway, the... Freeways. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was but, full of potholes, like impossible. If if you go, you know, there was no light. So if you go through that at <laughs> night, <laughs> you're just yeah. fucked. You're just going to kill yeah. your car in the middle of nowhere. No, <laughs> that's, that's literally driving that van at night would literally be Russian roulette. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <yeah. laughs> but can you remember that one time that we were driving? Like a, I think it was probably obviously a like hundred or ninety or hundred kilometers an hour, and then he started slowing down all of a sudden, and all of a sudden he had to stop because he had to make sure that across the freeway there was a train track, and it was the weirdest thing in the world. But it was a train track to cross the freeway, and he had to just look like that basically, just to make sure there wasn't a train coming because there was no. Whatever you barriers, call them, nothing, yeah. barriers or anything. Oh, there's no train coming. Then you can just carry on driving ninety. Yeah, yeah. Was absolutely. I, I can't remember that. No, that was that was the that. Uh, I, that I can remember, remember that we uh, on a on a highway. We mm -hmm. were we made a U-turn. Was that in Russia? No, that was that was Bali. <laughs> <laughs> that was the wrong tour. Oh, that was Bali. We, that was. What's that? That was the, that was Bali. Oh, we were the driving highway. on the left, and we drove to the right. Oh, I don't know anymore. Oh, okay. Carry on. Carry but on. It could be but on the autobahn in Russia, I remember. It could have happened. Yeah. yeah. I remember that at some point uh, there were like you know there were no lines on the street, like no markers, nothing. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then we had like three or four lanes, kind of, and all of a sudden it got narrower. Just because somebody put the, what are those hats called? You know, the orange, white cones, traffic cones, cones. the traffic cones on the street. Somebody <laughs> had a, like they, it was kind of a building site, but nobody was building anything. But they just narrowed down the street to like one or two lanes and all the, like without any, I don't know, people just got it to work. But I thought like there must be a, like a fatal accident every day there. 
because like there are <laughs> yeah. no lights blinking and if it's dark and you just you just run into that that was invisible <laughs> I, i don't know how people do that is maybe that's where the those, those videos that we all know you yeah. know the crazy yes. in russia videos Everyone. from the yeah. yeah from the dashboard cams it's just real that's just how yep. it is yeah it's, it's very right, very uh, real yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So Ari says she she uh, always has has problems at customs as well. Even oh, yeah. though she's Russian, yeah, yeah, because she has pink hair or purple hair. Ah, yeah, and, uh, that would always give her problems. But then she starts speaking Russian. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then you're in. Yeah, and then you're in. maybe Hopefully. I should uh, learn to speak Russian. If Harry you guys, can speak a I, few I, words. I can speak Russian. Yeah, fluent Russian, of course. Regarding customs, <laughs> yep. didn't we delete all our crazy pictures from our smartphones before yep. we arrived? Did yeah. we? Yeah. And I think even also from the private Maybe. Instagram or something. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Really? Because, we, yeah. because we were afraid that they will look it up and yeah, see some we were, we were crazy warned, pictures. Actually. Yeah. We were actually warned. Were we? Okay. Yes, um, because our booker, Dima, he said, because he had problems coming from Russia and going to Europe and back, um, the Europeans wouldn't do that, but uh, when he came back to uh, Russia, then, you know, funny band pictures like the ones we took later in that sauna, <laughs> um, yeah. oh. is like th that could look gay, would give <laughs> you, uh, would really uh, put you in a lot of trouble. And uh, he yep. said, just don't, you know, just delete that kind of stuff if you can. They are checking it. Like it did th they <laughs> didn't with us, but it happened. It happened to him. Speaking of the, 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 the whole gay thing and everything, we were also beforehand, we were warned, uh, like Malik and uh, Arnout, uh, you know, long hair and everything. Yeah. And we were literally warned, you know, keep, if you walk on street, if you walk on the street on the pavement, like put a hoodie on or something, because in some parts of Russia, they, they still see that as, you know, long, guys with long hair are, are, are gay or and everything. And, and they're tattoos gonna piercings. Yeah, tattoos was also a thing. But I mean, it was, it was, it, was a bit weird there, you know, it's like, oh, we have to walk on the street or we're going to have to, we were going to walk on the street. Let's put a hoodie on just to keep safe. You know, yeah. how weird is that? But Ari will help me next time. I'll see. Mm. I see you. I will. She Thank will. you, Ari. No worries. Look at that. Look. She, she, yeah, wants, Ari. she wants to do oh, Ari. I said Ari. <laughs> Ari, not Ari. <laughs> I thought she said Ari. <laughs> yeah, he will help you next time because he didn't last time. I had to take care of Malik last time. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> I felt so protected. It was wonderful. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> how is You're it well uh, talking about tour management, Eri? Um, how did you guys remember uh, Alex? Alex. Yeah, yeah. He, he was, was a cool. really nice guy. Yeah, I liked him. He was. He was. He was also like he had the typical angry Russian face sort of. You know, he was one of those people that if you saw him on the street, you'd like. I'll just cross over, you know. Yeah. But if you get to know him, ah, he's, he's great. He had a heart of gold, didn't he? Yes, I think that's, uh, I mean, you knew a little bit because you watched our, you know, from the first tour, you had, a, I guess, an impression of the guy. But it's still different when you meet him in person, I guess. But he was yeah. just the same heart of gold guy that he was on the first tour, a life savior, even <laughs> at times. Uh, yeah. uh, last time we talked about the bribery on the train that made him, you know, change uh, because we were in a very shitty um, after, you know, after playing a show, super sweaty, running to the to the train station. Um, uh, we didn't sleep for I don't know how long, hungry, uh, long. Just, you know, and um, then we uh, entered the train and uh, instead of what we expected, like a sleeping train, um, it was a very small a wagon you know with super small seats basically like the bus and we were we were supposed to be in there for 10 hours and then he just uh, bribed someone to let us in the totally empty first class where you had beds <laughs> and wi-fi and everything <laughs> and it, it cost us like yeah, yeah. Uh, i don't know how many rubles but it was like five euros each yeah ah, arnold is online yeah he, he was yeah arnold he was, was uh, uh, uh he's uh, uh dining out with yeah. nadine and um, he's, yeah, he's going to a new restaurant or actually he's going to a restaurant in Maastricht because they are all opened uh, yeah. since last Monday. So uh, that's why he couldn't be here tonight. Mm -hmm. And he even during dinner, he's 
looking at us. Yeah, yeah. That's mm. he's so jealous. I know he's super psyched to uh, get all the reactions <laughs> and everything, and see the show later. Um, yeah. Um, I wanted to say something. You guys shipped, uh, or you're supposed to ship, uh, a lot of merch to Eri, to one of uh, our friends. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, like nobody knows about it, or Ariane, who is not here today, has all the merch, or what's going on with the merch? I don't know. Um, I, I, I thought I'd go downstairs, you know, and, and go get the merchandise. Um, but it's not there. I, I think Ariane's got it. <laughs> I, I I I don't know. I mean, Ilko doesn't have it. Oh no, never has it. No, no, we do. We do have it. Oh, you do um, have it. So it's in Germany. But no, 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 no. Arnaut, Arnaut. So Arion collected it. Arnaut has it. I'm picking oh. it up at Arnaut's. Oh, like, yay! Like the mail. Malik has yeah. all the merch of ours. <laughs> so that's what I bought in Russia. Yeah. <laughs> so we can actually put it on the mail in Germany so it will arrive earlier because if we do that in the Netherlands then it takes a longer yeah. time to, to actually get there that's yeah. true so guys out there um, as you can see of course uh, you got to support your favorite bands and uh, I did so um, uh, isn't that the shirt where Ilko painted the heart yes. in the middle yeah. yeah if you look closely let me check um, then you can still see it Uh, that was uh, even in Voronezh, I think. Um, maybe it's even in one of the episodes, uh, because <coughs> that's the original from the CD, and uh, it was missing on the shirt design. What happened there? Uh, but you painted it for me. Yeah. For me as well. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, of course. You still owe 20 euros for that. <laughs> <laughs> Per person. <laughs> so just in general, guys, everybody needs merch. We still have masks. And we still have CDs, and you guys also have CDs. But I was asking you, it's like, show your CDs, but you don't have them, and Arnold has to do the job next time, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just give Arnold all the work. He yeah. loves it. <laughs> awesome. Uh, talking yeah. about all the work, how about uh, we play some music? Because Good I plan. have a very nice video prepared from you. That's uh, Phoenix Ashes, and you can explain later why the titles of your songs are that long.
and we're back. What a nice song. What a nice yeah. Song. Nice video. Ilko, didn't you do the video? I did the video, yeah. I got um, a whole bunch of Creative Commons uh, material that I could find that kind of like supported the topic of the song. And um, I just made the video using all that material. And then, of course, I recorded. So all the footage of us in the rehearsal room was actually recorded with a, a flashlight and with um, super nice uh, with a with a smartphone camera. So yeah, to get that gritty effect. Yeah, <laughs> and also the, the slow motions. I really like that side because uh, you know when you do video a lot, then you look at this and you think, wow, that looks so. You know, this dark room and then the slow motions. Arnold's super angry. It's like, yeah. And if you know Arnold, that's Arnold really is it. always angry. <laughs> that's awesome. He's an angry man. He was, he was just he hungry. Was. That was it. <laughs> you kept him in that cellar for yeah. two days before. Yeah, angry. <laughs> angry, yep. yeah, yeah. Angry, that's super nice. Yeah, um, Ang what do you think? You want to dive deep into Russia right now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we always <laughs> want to dive deep into Russia. <laughs> so. Lost my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Jens. It was pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah. All right. So, um, brace yourselves, guys. Uh, this is um, Revolution Ashes in Russia, chapter number three. We are, we are revolution! My name is Malik from Star Revolution. And I'm Arnaud from Phoenix Ashes. This is our first encounter with the real Russia outside of Moscow, outside of the big cities. We had a two hour drive to Obninsk. So, where's the hospital? Right here. Here? Toto? I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. This is Ilko, singer from Phoenix Ashes. I mean, by the looks of this building, it just looks like we ended up in a horror movie. Open wires, shitty elevators. But funny enough is that the buildings on the outside in Russia, people don't really pay attention or mind that they look shitty as long as the inside is nice, right? But that was one fucked up elevator ride, I can tell you. Can you push? Yeah. Yes, of course, you should push. <laughs> Den Mac Walk gesehen. Also, dies ist ein Mac Walk, ein Mac äh, Drive, nur halt zum Durchlaufen. And how do I really pronounce Oblenz. it? We are in Oblenz. Oblenz. We all know that we are in Oblenz. 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 Like Obelix. Oblenz. 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 And then with N. With N. We are in Oblenz. 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 This is uh, science at its best. Oblenz. A new recycling hof was recently installed. Hier in Obninsk äh, gibt es auch neue Gartenbauprojekte. Hier sehen Sie zum Beispiel das neu eingeweihte Sozialprojekt Lovely Gardens. Obninsk. So gerade wurde der neue Zoo eingeweiht. Ja, ja. Klasse. Schnappschuss. I'm so happy we have this on tape because this was actually the first time that Phoenix Ashes taught us the vocal warm-up routine that we are using before every show up to this day. Uh, I'm uh, really surprised why, uh, how and why uh, did they choose this cities like Nogin Skopis because I've never heard about these cities before. I live in Russia, you know, for 
26 years. Yeah. I've never heard about the cities. <coughs> and uh, uh, he, Malik said that um, small cities, big, uh, better shows. Normally, uh, yeah. Normally, yes. But uh, these cities is not. Uh, it doesn't work. It's too small. Hmm. Yeah, so in the end we are gonna play. Yeah, That's yeah. a very interesting psycholo psychological And bit. so we did. This was uplifting. It was the uh, first real show, I would say. Even though there were not too many people, it was really fun. It really was. And the people that were there were really enjoying themselves. We also got burgers in the end, so we were happy campers. Back at the hostel, Ferry and I got really philosophical about uh, Russian life for the common people. Um, we just had a moment. There might be happy families here. Yeah. And, um, well, maybe they don't know better, and we don't know any, any better than this. I like to peek into those houses with the lights, <laughs> just to see how they are living. Yeah. Yeah, there's a Gary Jewel song in the head, Mad World. <laughs> Did you guys remember any of this? <laughs> um, yeah. No. <laughs> I remember the hostel. <laughs> it was I the Kentucky the, hostel. It, the Kentucky Fried Cellar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, I I can remember that I didn't know um, which was scarier, taking the stairs or taking the elevator. Yeah. <laughs> because it, it both looked scary. Yeah. I took yeah. the stairs. I remember. Me too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, me as well, because it was just one, actually one floor up or something like that. Um, years later, I went to um, Disneyland Paris or whatever it's called, and they have a haunted yeah. house there with also elevators. And this really <laughs> reminded me of that trip. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's but, but yeah, but was the flat, uh, I remember the flat was in the end was uh, what was really, really nice. So. Yeah, but was that it was the, the one thing. With, the, with the old woman living there as yeah. a host. Yeah. Yes, it was like a family lived there, and they had this like ah. tiny room, and the rest they were renting out to. Um, oh, that place. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right. That was and they, the they second just had, like, hostel thing, right? Yeah, they had the three or four rooms where they just had like shitloads of bunk beds. Yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah, it was yeah. like uh, we had breakfast or like something in the living room kind of yeah. situation. I think in her kitchen, I think. Oh, yeah. 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 Ferden is okay. just writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, the owner was so drunk. I can't remember that. For the, from the oh, venue? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, when we oh. got there, when we got there, they had a party. Oh, from the venue, uh, okay. they've, they've had a party um, the last night, and they were all still very hungover, <laughs> so they were frying like some form of fried lunch. I don't know what they were frying. I think they've fried everything. Everything. <laughs> uh, but Ferdy, there was this like. How do you know that? Yeah. Ferry says that uh, Chef Genie slept in his full Monty. How does he know that? <laughs> okay, we yeah, all knew that, that was well. the thing. Yeah, because Chef yeah. Genie didn't have any yeah. luggage with him, and we always yep. we were wondering, what is he going to do? Because we we were on tour for two weeks, and he didn't have any uh, luggage, uh, nothing yeah. on the bus. Yep. 
and no space on the bus because oh, yeah. we were filling it with our shit and yeah. there was none of his. Yeah. And then we found out that basically he just took off his shoes and went to bed. Yeah. And next yep. morning. So, at le- at, at so least where the did the guy? Days, yeah. So where yeah. did the guy actually leave his shindums then? Oh no! <laughs> Absorb them. <laughs> But oh, he yeah. was never stinky, right? He wasn't like uh, in any way. No, he was he was always pristine. I don't know, like nothing could touch him. Like <laughs> he was like MC Hammer. Yes. <laughs> Very uh, good. Yeah, yeah. Ferdin is right. We saw him sleep. Yeah, yeah. He was just lying there, super silent, never bothering anyone. He was just there. Yevgeny. I, I think his shinims were refurbished. <laughs> <laughs> Get. Get on with it. Get on with it. Come on. <laughs> no, but I still remember the venue though itself was this like apartment building in the middle of the outskirts somewhere, and um, we played like in the cellar. But then the the, yeah. the area around it just looked like oh no, like f- just gray flats. There was nothing there except for a uh, like a twenty four hour store that only sold uh, sold alcohol. And that's yeah. it. But if what I remember all of a sudden now is that that gig, the second gig was the was the best gig ever were regarding sound. There was literally the sound was literally 100 percent perfect in that show, I think, for both bands. Like you could literally hear every single thing everyone was playing, like Max Drummond, when you guys played, you know, uh, Yancey could hear every bass line, you could hear every guitar wow. line, Marlick did and Freddie did. And, um, and then all of a sudden I remember that now, but then we had the same, obviously, beforehand. We, I don't know how that happened, yeah, but so it was like literally the best show. I mean, that's what we always okay. wanted, like yeah. good sound yeah. at a show. I think they had some good cabinets and amplifiers. Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. and the room, yeah. and so the, the 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 kind of like the place where you played was this like concrete cellar. So actually, that sound carried quite a bit, and yeah. um, right. So they didn't need that much to make it sound voluminous, and then they mm-hmm. just only needed to get like some decent stuff, and then yeah, it it sounded nice, and everybody enjoyed it, and and people went nuts. People were drunk way before uh, we even started <laughs> playing. Right, so that um, and and we joined after we played. <laughs> <laughs> so what um, comes to my I'm mind at the moment? Now. Do you do you remember the bathroom of the of the flat of the hostel? Wasn't it the very small one, painted in yellow or red or something? I think it was so, yeah. very totally small. Crazy. Yeah, yeah I, don't I don't remember like how small. Yeah, like, it was I, close I to think four I big. Have pictures. I think I have pictures. Yeah, it yeah. was like a, like a toilet for midgets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Obninsk, oh. I I don't really remember when I was uh, editing this stuff with Arnold. I was like, yeah, we were walking the scene and we were taking the funny photos. And um, if you guys out there are going to revisit the YouTube version of it, it makes much more sense. Then y- you can see we were quite shocked about um, how worn down the whole little village. It's not a city, yeah. it's a little village. Is. And even Alex was complaining. Uh, was it in this episode or the next one? Um, he said it's like those those cities of Obninsk, and I've never heard of them. And I'm... I'm living for 26 years in Russia. I have never heard of them. They weren't that far from uh-huh. Moscow. It's just they were little villages out on out in nowhere. So mm. uh, it was a bit. Well, like, only a two-hour drive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and um, this is why we named the episode. Also, we're not in Kansas anymore. It's like uh, when you come from Moscow and you th- still think, okay, it's a big city. You have all the infrastructure, blah blah blah. It's a bit different because it's Russia. But then you get out there and you're really on your own. It's it's just different. The vibe is different, and yeah, also I think that is why we made the selfie. It was more like we felt a bit the de- or the the atmosphere was a bit depressing, mm. and that's why uh, yeah we we took the selfie and it was like we all looked like no, it was just sad. Well, no, well, not, I wouldn't say no. I, I don't. I don't fully agree with that. That was depressing. It was just very colorless. Uh, but the people, they were. I mean, they were all <laughs> super nice and psyched to see us, and they were drunk. Yeah, of course. But um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, says it. Yeah, there. you have to explain uh, the the um the yellow. Ah, 
Not cables. What's the thing where water goes through and shit? The Chaps. pipes. Uh, Your phone is off. Yeah. The pipes. You can... Yellow pipes. Pipes, thank you. Isn't it that they... Was it that one? Or am I mixing something yeah. up that the pipes went all through the bathroom? No, it was, I think, a different hotel. I'm mixing that up with a different one. Yeah, because we I had one no that idea. really where they put the hot pipe from one side of the bathroom and put it, you know, through the bathroom to another side of the bathroom. <laughs> but that means if you're showering with hot water, you would burn yourself sitting down on the throne <laughs> and stuff like that. It was like super, like do it yourself, super weird. But it wasn't that one. It was uh, this one was different. Sounds like Russia. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. was Russia. But maybe the the other tour. Um, and here uh, Arian is saying the sound guy was very professional and took hours to set up so he took his uh -huh. time but he knew his job obviously yeah at the end the show to turn out super nice and the people were psyched and excited I mean yeah the the area was kind of gray and Ninka was doing a little uh, little uh, what's that called crunk dance <laughs> yeah <laughs> Like the Australian rugby players yeah, yeah it looks, looks like <laughs> Wreck-It Ralph but um <laughs> But then pink. <laughs> Always pink. Always pink. <laughs> yeah. But I can remember that show. Yeah, it was really, really cool. And what I really liked about the Russian shows, <laughs> even if only uh, a few people showed up, they always came and wanted to make selfies with us. And yeah, yeah, they were always so en because enthusiastic. That is can measure yeah. success, the amount of people that want to take selfies with you. Yes. <laughs> yes. So it was I a good show. Five selfies. <laughs> yes. Yay! <laughs> and we got ten selfies today. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least you know you're in. Completely, completely famous when people ask selfies with you as a rock star. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, talking about rock stars, I want to throw in something that I promised the last time. Um, I don't know who it was on on the chat. They were asking for uh, how about the Gangnam style thing. And I said, okay, we can bring that back. Uh, we're going to do it next time. Next time is this time. So um, prepare, brace yourselves. Uh, this <laughs> is Gangnam style. Open Gangnam Style Gangnam Style Open Gangnam Style Gangnam Style Open Gangnam Style Gangnam Style Open Gangnam Style Oh 
Japan Gangnam Style. Annyeong Sai! We are Start a Revolution from Germany. We only have one wish. We would love to open a show for you. What do you think? Let's make it happen! Bye! Bye. Yay! Open Gangnam Style! <laughs> really funny! I think Jens is very happy we're not playing that live anymore. Uh, no, because Jens, if, if, if you do, then you gotta be the, the one uh, uh, flapping his balls around. Who <laughs> <laughs> yeah. was that? Yulene is wondering... Usually like, oh, let's help somebody open the door and flap his dick around. What's going on, man? <laughs> it was... If you uh, watch the original video side by side with our video, then you can clearly see all the references because we took a lot of care to basically have the same scenes at the same time. Um, so we built our video as the dark version of the original video. And uh, mm -hmm. some of the references only make sense when you remember, if you remember the original. <laughs> yeah, but that's, I mean, it was 2012 or something. It's so long ago that people don't remember. You, you remember the um, guy in the elevator with the cowboy hat? Yeah, I do. Move? That's basically the ball flapping moment. But I've <laughs> actually seen that um, uh, video clip so many times because Arnaud. He did also this version for a friend of his uh, at his wedding. He did? Yeah. I saw that video. He that did was a flash cool. mob. It yeah. was really fun. With all the moves and also with the elevator thing. Yeah. So uh, The yeah, elevator that's thing. Right. Um, Makes sense. The guy in the elevator. Um, we only learned uh, over the course of, you know, producing the video and speaking to people. And um, the guy is a very famous um, actor slash comedian in uh, Korea, South Korea, mm -hmm. and this is his signature move. So ah. he's doing that all the time, so people would know. Also, remember when Sai is uh, in the beginning of the video, he's in a, um, you know, on a beach in a chair, in a, not lounge chair, but, you know, beach chair thing, and he's drinking something, and there's a little boy, like we had in the end, who's doing the dance, like a very, like, three-year-old, five-year-old, I don't know. He also was famous in... Um, South Korean on South Korean TV at the time. <laughs> so there are many celebrities from South Korea. Also the girl on the subway, she's also a famous singer and there were some uh, boy band famous guys also in there, stuff like that. So uh, of course, like outside of South Korea, you wouldn't know, you just wouldn't know. We were also only mimicking everything. I mean, yeah. Where do you get these people? Um, you mean in the video? Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, uh, partially it's a friend of ours. We shot the video in Hamburg and um, the production company, um, they had the idea because they knew the locations, you know, the SM Club is the oldest um, BDSM club in Germany, in Hamburg. And of course. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've had it all. After the war, yeah. I didn't have... Uh, um, yeah, <laughs> but, that, um, that, and yeah. then, you know, some... Uh, like, Johnny knew some of the people, we knew some of the people, and then they even put some flyers out on the universities, like, who wants to dance in a music video? And there were two, three oh. people. One of the girls was actually from Australia. Like, she is in Australia, back again, but she helped for that one day. And, uh, yeah, cool. I don't know, it was a collective effort. International uh, defame. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Yeah. Eri uh, also said, I need that song. Where is it? It's, of course, it's online everywhere on Spotify, on YouTube. Uh, feel free to just find it on YouTube. It's not hidden, even though some people think it should be. <laughs> um, okay. Um, just because we lost some time earlier, we have uh, like one and a half minutes left on this live stream, and then Instagram is going to cut us off. But we just thought we are going to go on. We are going to set up a second live stream right after. So um, once we're cut off here, just stay on that channel, and uh, we're just going to uh, go on babbling. Um, yeah. I, I oh. wonder about the uh, Russian thing. I had like one or two questions, especially to uh, Harry and Ninke, because um, how was it like now you guys are married with children and all of that stuff, right? But at the time you weren't. And I remember that you 
were often like cramped in one place, one bed, one chair, one, I don't know, but we didn't, we booked extra beds for you, <laughs> didn't we? <laughs> it was more like a choice. It's like, yeah, we want to cuddle, but it was like a Russian bed made out of stone that size. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just remember I there were one or two remember. occasions where I was like, no, you can't. It's like, uh, Harry was staying there, uh, I think, sometimes at your place or something. We were talking, like us three. We were Everybody else was already asleep and we were speaking about some... And Malik was there as well. <laughs> it was fun. Like, <laughs> I felt so protected. Like I said, this tour was amazing <laughs> for me. Well, I, I'm, I, tr I, I, I would not necessarily agree with... Uh, because I thought the beds in general were quite okay. Yeah, no, that, that was right? a joke. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the beds yeah, were yeah, fine. I, I get it. <laughs> right? Yeah. But um, I... Uh, Despite all the grayness and the uh, the situation of how it looked, I, I really enjoyed it because it has this kind of aesthetic to it that I really appreciated. And okay, uh, we have to cut because they cut us off. Yeah, we we'll be back in a minute. Yeah, yeah, they didn't hear that. Bye -bye. Oh. Give me a second. Yeah, it's it's gone already. Before the time, like <laughs> uh, they're not that precise. I found some pictures of the uh, venue of the equipment. So if you want to talk oh, really? about that, show it, show it. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait. And I already, uh, not already, yeah, I, I, so. I think I know again how the club was called. Really? When I show you the picture, I think you remember as well. But I'm not sure, I think it's the name. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what were you saying? Uh, the beds weren't that bad, yeah. The, that was just a joke. Because, uh, like, inside all of the uh, hostels, it was, like, a good IKEA standard, right? Like, that yeah. kind of, yeah. Well, the hostels itself, they were often quite, um, especially from the, the, the third day on, uh, the farther we went away from Moscow, the nicer the hostels became, right? Because especially the one that we were in, that was that, like, house that we had to ourselves... Um, where we uh, in Voronezh, yeah, right. That was actually a quite a nice hostel where we had it pretty much to ourselves, except for one room where a couple of other people slept. But most of the time, we were there for three days, I guess. Um, we had the place to ourselves, and that was actually quite nice. And it was like in the middle of the um, village city-ish thing, and um, uh, we had a great time, like walking around and doing stuff there. It was actually super nice there. Yeah, I think um, it's always a family business, right? And the more yeah. you are in a village, then they didn't have to pay high rents in the middle of Moscow or something. But it was their private home. And then um, maybe sometimes from the outside it was shabby. But from the inside, they really took a lot of care uh, of the whole thing. And it looked nice. The yeah. kitchens were great. I remember yeah. there was a huge yeah. kitchen, stuff like that. Yeah, we have had that also on the first tour. That was impressive. Exactly. Partially. Yeah, and, and and I must say, I mean, in general, I thought the state of um, the hospitality in Russia, uh, from especially from the inside, was way better than, for instance, it would be in the UK, mm -hmm. right? Where where it's it's in general more tatty and more unkept, and um, but uh, then again, these were also quite new, of course. So, um, mm. but it was massive. I, I I thought it was massive fun because it's. If you have the time to kind of like drive around and check it out a bit like we had for a couple of days, then uh, there's so many pretty things that you um, that you actually run into, like that big monastery where we went. Yeah. Um, the next episode, next week, um, I think, we're, yeah, we're talking about Voronezh, the way to Voronezh and uh, playing there and also a little bit more of the heart, more of the heartland of Russia, a bit more... Um, out of the big cities is really different and uh, yeah you will be able to see that the next two episodes basically they will show a lot more um, yeah then Eri was asking uh, how old Harry's and Nika's kids are and uh, yeah maybe you want to say it because uh, afterwards people cannot read the chat yeah um, our daughter is uh, two and a half and our son is one year old He, had, he didn't get his first anniversary party because of uh, the whole COVID thing, but uh, uh, we will repeat it someday when he yeah. will remember. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, because uh, around here it <coughs> seems that people don't 
they forgot that Corona ever was a thing and they think it's over and like they don't know anyone who was affected by it. But you too, uh, the two of you have been sick and Ninka, you have been quite severely hit. Uh, maybe you want to tell us how that was for you? What happened there? Um, well, yeah, I, so I work in the hospital and um, um, yeah, we all got infected, I think. I think most of us. And it, for I think for me, it was the, ha uh, the heaviest uh, if I compare it to the others. So at one point, I was just uh, laying in bed and I couldn't even talk because I couldn't breathe or I couldn't get enough air. So if I just said only yes or no, then I, ha I was uh, um, out of breath because uh, I needed um, oxygen. Mm -hmm. And uh, at one point I called the doctor and then he wanted to send an ambulance, but I'm a doctor myself and that's not the best. Like doctors are the worst patients. They are. But still, <laughs> I didn't want a, a, an ambulance to be sent here. So I arranged my cousin, who's also a surgeon, and who I knew she was infected as well, but she didn't have, uh, she only had mild um, symptoms. symptoms. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I asked her to bring me to, uh, to this COVID uh, department and... Uh, there my oxygen got checked and then I get some I got some medication and luckily I didn't uh, have to go uh, to the to the hospital mm -hmm. and uh, yeah and a few weeks later they thought I had a, a emboli yeah a long emboli yeah a long yeah. emboli but now I'm alive again <laughs> so I was uh, I think I was 22 hours per day in bed for three weeks and after those three weeks it took me again about two to three weeks to uh, get fit again but now I feel fit yeah so, so you don't I'm have any uh, breathing problems like climbing stairs or it's like not no not not that much I'm still a bit a uh, bit tired but yeah mm -hmm. it's normal when you have two young kids <laughs> And, uh, Ask Elko. <laughs> and Harry, like uh, you were sick um, a little bit. Yeah, I had. Um, I didn't have. I didn't have it as bad as Ninke. Um, I did have uh, like a sore throat. Uh, I, I had like the cold. You know, the 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 the, the smaller symptoms, shall we say? Uh, and at one point. Uh, when I obviously I, I knew I had it because well if Nika is positive then you know one on one is definitely two, but then I definitely definitely knew I had it at one point when I couldn't taste uh, or smell anything, and that is literally one of the weirdest things you're ever going to experience and and it, we we couldn't go anywhere you know we we were literally just in lockdown we couldn't do anything I had to take care of Ninka as much as I possibly could whilst not feeling well myself plus also take care of the two kids plus take care of the whole house thing going on you know yeah and Arno actually really helped us Arno was a massive savior yeah he cooked for us which every he loves day. to do he yeah. definitely loves yeah. to know, yeah. We yeah. had the yeah. conspiracy really theory that, eh? going on that basically <laughs> he made, like, somehow yeah. got you infected, so he knew you were in the house, yes. ne yeah. always needing yeah. food, and yeah, he, he was the yeah, only one yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he cooked for us uh, every day a different meal for three weeks, so... Yeah. And that was shitty, by the way, <laughs> because I couldn't taste it or smell it. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, well, just really a good food, cook. Mate. <laughs> he's, he's one of the best. I mean, you should check his Instagram out, the Tasty String, and you should seriously, seriously check out the ama the amazing food he prepares. It's, it's unbelievable. And when he said he he sent me a message and he said, "Dude, how about you know we or I cook for you, for, for, you know, because that will save you a lot of time." And I, I said, "Yes, please do." And then I think literally the day after, I started losing all my my senses and stuff. And he sent me a message that, like, hey, how was the food? I, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I guess it was great, you know. I mean, it looks beautiful, so yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> yeah, but how is that? that? Like, like you would yeah. bite, you would bite into, you would bite something spicy, and nothing would happen, yeah. or you feel a little bit of yeah, pain, but no taste. Or how, how is that? Well, I mean, it's a, it, you, when you eat um, like 
uh, pasta, you know, spaghetti penna thingy or whatever, you know, those uh, oval whatever thing, I don't know what it is, you know, those spaghetti sort of things, right? You you, you bite in it, you know the, te- the the structure and you can sort of feel that you're biting the structure, but that's it. That's all. You, you It's like you're eating paper. Yeah. <laughs> something, I don't know, cardboard or, or paper. Stone. Or a stone. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> No, but it was but, also you know. when uh, there was wa- there were some uh, uh, some very nice days. So we were sitting in the garden, um, <laughs> and then I used some uh, sun uh, sunblock. Yeah, sunblock, sun yeah. tan, cream. Yeah, 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 yeah so I I was putting it on, and I thought, huh, I it is uh, over that. Um, yeah, it's Pastor too old or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's too old, and I, oh, maybe I, I have to throw it away because you don't smell anything. <laughs> and smell then, anything. Yeah. Uh, because I had the symptoms uh, earlier, of course, and then Harry said, "Oh, I really love the smell of holiday and the <laughs> beach, and yeah, yeah. always when I use uh, sunblock, <laughs> I always uh, think of holiday." And I was like, "Huh." <laughs> and then I was smelling all, it. Yeah, and <laughs> I couldn't smell anything. But later, uh, when I got my smell back and uh, Harry uh, yeah, lost it, um, he was uh, playing with uh, our son. And then suddenly he was crying, crying, crying all the time. <laughs> and then Harry was constantly <laughs> smelling if he put his diaper yeah. but he, he thought oh no no i don't no smell idea. anything so uh, no. so you okay. didn't realize in the beginning yeah. <laughs> no idea you know it, it that was the he thing. was like I, could, I, I couldn't i literally couldn't <laughs> smell anything it was and it was good when i had to change the bins for the full of you know shitty nappies and everything because i was just like well, i don't care i don't need to open a window because i don't smell anything anyway you know <laughs> but nico at one point she was like crack a window man crack a window <laughs> you know i was like oh, all right i'll just crack a window yeah <laughs> i couldn't i couldn't smell anything it was it was and you know it's just stupid it's just, it's weird well, they could they could stupid. completely they could completely screw you over by feeding you something superly spicy yeah and the only way you'd noticed is the next day when it comes out <laughs> <laughs> yes. How was it when it came back? Yeah, thankfully, oh no, didn't he didn't do that? Yeah. <laughs> How was it when it came back? Like all Amazing. of a sudden, nice. really, really good. It was. It's literally. You really appreciate yeah, that exactly that yeah. that you have this. I, st- I, I started smelling shampoo as if I'd never <laughs> smelt it before. Like I'm standing in the shower just going. <laughs> Like that the whole time. So I love it. I love it. You know, and everyone, if anyone saw that, they'd think I'd be weird. But yeah, anything. And then the, the tasting stuff. It's it's you, you're smelling and you're tasting food. It's 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 you, you do appreciate it a lot more all of a sudden once you know you've you've lost it. And I, I think I had that issue for I think at least nearly two weeks or something. You and had it, it was, longer than I had. I did, I but did, yeah. It was like two, two weeks, two, long, two weeks yeah. I think, two and a half weeks. And at one point, I started to get a little bit nervous. I was like, mm, is it ever going to come back? You know, and, and then, of course, the second I started thinking that, the day after, it was like, bam, there it is. And it's just literally one go. It's right back. Really? He was actually like, oh, I can sm- finally sp- smell his diaper again. Yeah, that was <laughs> terrible. Happy times. Yeah. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was a shame, but otherwise, you know, I could smell food and taste food, and uh, that was it. Was good that it came back. I was I was very very happy with that. It was uh, <sighs> an old look. Yeah, but uh, I'm really happy we're healthy, and I'm really happy that um, that Harry only had mild symptoms because yeah. I'm so thank uh, thankful that he uh, took care of uh, the three of us and. Yeah, also that Arnold cooked for us. Yeah, it was really, really, uh, yeah, I, I really appreciated all the help. And uh, on those days, you uh, you really appreciate um, the people you have around yeah. you. Because my m- mom also cooked for us and um, uh, Arnold did all the groceries for us. And, uh, Ruben and Bollamy yeah, did that as well, didn't my, they? Uh, Other brother. Younger yeah. brother did all the gro- uh, did a lot of groceries and cooked for us. And his wife uh, And out. his wife. Yeah. yeah. It was, yeah, just overwhelming that that you um, uh, beseffed. Realized. Yeah, you yeah. realized that, that 
you have these important people around you and you really need them at those times. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds, um, what would you say to the people who take the whole COVID thing super lightly right now? Yeah. Well, the thing is, um, if you get mild symptoms and if you don't see more than that, I can really understand that you think of all these conspiracies and think it's it's not that bad because for a lot of people it is not that bad but for me it was really bad and well I lost two uh, aunts. two aunts so yeah because of only covid they were healthy and they were young one was uh, in the 60s and one was only 70 just then yeah yeah, yeah and they yeah they only had diabetes type 2 but that was it yeah they were f yeah healthy and one uh, was a grandmother of seven uh, kids and yeah it's really really happy to lose two ounces in only uh, two weeks I'm very sorry to hear Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm worried uh, exactly about that thing. Not that if I have severe symptoms or light symptoms, but that I, you know, don't infect my mom, for example, because mm -hmm. she's, yeah. uh, you know, over 70 and of course uh, in a group that, uh, yeah, she has heart problems and stuff like this. So it's like, uh, mm -hmm. even if I have no symptoms, that's maybe the most problematic because then, you know, we try to keep a distance, etc. But if you don't know that you're sick, you might infect others that might then suffer. Yeah, that's that's a very that's quite a difficult uh, a difficult situation if you if you if you're sure that you haven't had it yet. Yeah. yeah. Then, you know, if you think you've had it, mm, it it's still a bit, you know, of a risk really, but yeah, our advantage, if you want to call it that, is that we've had it. Uh, we can You know, see we certain have, uh, people now. We have antibodies right now, but yeah, that's it, still, yeah. we know we uh, the the fire. There's a different version in the winter. We have to uh, because everybody is inside. You know, people are. I could edit this. Um, cool. If you have all the audio, and <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, what else do we have? Schmeckly. Um, okay, these are the tour uh, tour <laughs> phrases that we. I don't know. How would you call it? Yeah, we have some of the schneller we had also on the episodes. Maybe oh. maybe just one second. Do you? I can't see it. It's wow. Cool. Or yeah, what? wasn't it the Nirvana Club? Club. Yeah. Oh. Hey. The Nirvana Club. Yeah. Cool. I remember that now. Hmm. Thanks, yeah. Jan. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. <laughs> Then uh, see you guys next time. Till next week. And uh, start with Bye. Bye. Ashes. Bye and out.